Hello everybody, Dr. Yu here with the next video from the Calgary Guide video series, Defining Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, or COPD. Before we get started, please help us reach more viewers by liking the video just as it's starting out and by subscribing to my channel. Thanks, and let's get started. COPD is a systemic disease largely manifesting as an airflow obstructing respiratory disorder. It can manifest in the form of any of these five following disorders. First is emphysema. This is lung tissue destruction and abnormal permanent enlargement of lung asini, air spaces distal to terminal bronchioles. Second is chronic bronchitis, which is defined as chronic productive cough for a total duration of three months per year over two continuous years. The third manifestation of COPD is actually asthma, an asthma variant. And that's asthma that does not remit completely with treatment. Thus, the patient has chronic airflow obstruction. This condition is also known as asthma COPD overlap syndrome, ACOS. The fourth manifestation of COPD is bronchiectasis, which is defined as destruction and widening of large airways, resulting in mucus hypersecretion and recurrent infections. The fifth manifestation of COPD is cystic fibrosis, which is actually a multi-system disease due to a CFTR gene mutation that presents in the lungs as bronchiectasis. Out of these five different conditions, emphysema and chronic bronchitis are the two most common COPD manifestations, and most patients suffer from a combination of emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Clinically, COPD is seen as progressive, partially reversible airflow tract obstruction and lung hyperinflation, causing respiratory symptoms like cough, sputum production, and dyspnea. We'll get into the reasons for why these symptoms present the way they do in later videos about COPD. On spirometry, post-bronchodilator results that define COPD include an FEV1 over FVC ratio of less than 0.7. Note that FEV1 is not a defining feature of COPD. FEV1 means the forced expiratory volume in one minute, and FVC means forced vital capacity. So because vital capacity means the greatest amount of air that's exhalable following the deepest possible breath in, this ratio essentially tells us how fast the patient can breathe out, how much of the patient's vital capacity the patient can breathe out in one minute. Because remember, with airflow tract obstruction, the positive pressure exerted on the lungs during expiration tends to cause airway collapse and thus airflow obstruction. COPD is also seen as increased frequency and severity of acute exacerbations. And we'll make sure to have a video about acute exacerbations as well. And finally, COPD is actually a systemic inflammatory disorder. So it actually has systemic manifestations such as deconditioning and muscle weakness. Note that out of these separate conditions, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis, and asthma, there's a portion of these five separate disorders that can be encompassed by the definition chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now this is just one slide of a series of flowcharts about the topic of COPD. If you'd like to learn more about COPD, please check out my other videos on the pathogenesis of COPD, on the signs and symptoms of COPD, the findings on investigations of COPD, on the complications of COPD, as well as on COPD acute exacerbations. You can find them all on the Calgary Guide video series playlist. And that's all for defining chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Again, if you enjoyed this overview, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can be kept up to date on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.